So here I'm going to be working on my airboat. Uh, as you guys saw in my last video, I did put a new steel flex bottom coating. And what that does is it's, it makes the airboat very slick and it reduces the drag. Here I'll demonstrate what it could do. So you could see, it's like this boat's on ice. Look at that. Really easy to turn. Here I wanted to show you guys um, how it is in the front. Yeah. Look at that, it's just as easy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like it's on ice. Even with one finger, I can do it. It's not hard at all, one finger. So I'm getting the airboat loaded onto my trailer. Uh, the way I'm doing it is I'm actually, I have a piece of rope right there and a ratchet strap that's acting like a um, winch. I could have easily used a tractor, but I kind of screwed myself because I should have put the tractor on this side because once it's over there, it's stuck over there and I can't go behind the airboat. So I'm just gonna do it this way, it's working fine. And um, I do have a board right there. It's actually really easy to slide on the boards. So I'm going to crank it a few times and I'm just going to slide it on. So as you can see, uh, the airboat is on the trailer. I am going to rinse the bottom because I do have a uh, sand still from dragging it like in the back so that all that will come right off. But it was kind of hard to get this thing on the trailer because the bottom is so slippery, it would just slide uh, right back. So so went to numerous places uh, to look for a replacement uh, rubber grommet. Uh, I was told that this uh, rubber piece was from a shock absorber. So I went to numerous stores, uh, about five parts stores, and there's only one parts store that actually had um, a similar product that will most likely work for this. So I just took the <clears throat> uh, motor mount out, gonna separate the two washers and put my new rubber grommet in there and put it back in there. So as you could see, I just put the new uh, <clears throat> rubber grommet in there and now I'm just gonna put the bolt right through here have to put the washers back in uh, might just put two in because um, it is a new rubber grommet and it did raise a little bit so get that in there I get the bolt through Gonna check the height. Looks pretty much similar to what it is, and um, just put the nut back in, and I'll have uh, new motor mounts installed. So I just took uh, the intake tube off. I'm gonna be trying to locate uh, new ones. They do have some cracking in here. Where is it at? Um, there it is. And it looks like that it's going all the way through to the inside. So gonna try to locate some of these I'm pretty sure they're cheap and why not replace them if you could you know get brand new ones so I'm gonna go to Home Depot maybe to the and to the parts store and see what I could come up with so I came back from Home Depot and I found something similar um, to what I needed uh, this is not a one one size uh, some of them put a insert in here of another hose um, because the intake uh, tubes are smaller than the intake manifold itself where it connects so found this it actually works pretty good i already installed two of these and i'm gonna be uh, happier i mean they're only four bucks a piece and also uh i have the two front uh bushings in i still have to do the rear ones but uh that's what they look like they look really good let me show you what they used to look like The back ones are uh, are, are kind of bad. So currently what I'm doing is I'm removing the headers on this engine. I already removed the intake tubes and the reason why I'm doing this is because they're gonna be a different color from the engine itself. So it's just gonna be easier to paint rather than taping everything off. So I already have the header, uh, header bolts already loose. So let's take that off. So I just came back from the auto parts store. I grabbed a few parts for this airboat. 
I picked up a gas cap. Um, I uh, bought this from AutoZone, and this is the closest gas cap that they had because the one I had was uh, no good, had a bunch of rust in there. But I believe these are pretty much universal. So let's give that a shot really quick. Yeah, there we go, works good. So we got a new gas cap. And uh, I got a gasket for the where the fuel pump goes. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm removing the old studs because I'm going to be running a um, electrical, um, what is it, uh, external fuel pump that I'm going to be running because a uh, new fuel pump for this engine is pretty pricey. It's cheaper just to put a electric fuel pump on here, so that's what I'm going to do. Taking that uh, stud out, then I'm going to make my own plate and I'm going to bolt it right over where the fuel pump used to mount. There we go, she's out. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get the old gasket, trace it out, and basically make a block off plate out of this uh, sheet aluminum. So I can have a plate uh, to cover where the external fuel pump went. So this is the plate that I uh, cut out of my aluminum. There's my new gasket. Just went ahead and about two bolts and gonna install it right where the old external fuel pump was located. I didn't realize that um, I would need uh, thicker aluminum. What I'm talking about is that uh, you could actually, there's a small gap down here and oil does flow in here, which means that I will have a leak. So, as you can see, it is flexing too. So I'm using um, pretty thick aluminum. This is definitely gonna work. I should have probably done this first instead of using that really thin aluminum. All right, so I know it's a little dark, but I did finish making my plate. Just wanna show you guys, it came out looking really good. Uh, the bottom one uh, is obviously, the old plate that I made so I'm not gonna use that but here is the new plate that I made and this is definitely gonna work so I'm happy that uh, I went ahead and <laughs> found a thicker aluminum laying around and gonna put her in so as you can see the prop is off the engine I have it over here and I can show you guys a closer look to it uh, I did see that there is quite a bit of small cracks right here and I guess the black stuff on the on the prop, such as right here, I guess that's mold. Uh, but there is a lot of small cracks in, in here. But um, I have someone who's gonna sell me a uh, two blade adjustable prop. So I'm gonna get rid of this thing and I'm gonna go pick up my uh, two blade adjustable prop. All right, so today I'm driving to Sensenik and Plant City because I am buying a propeller. I got a lead on one and it's a pretty good price. It's for a adjustable two blade prop. It's a 68 inch and it's exactly uh, what I need for my setup. Going to be picking up my propeller from Sensenik and uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like once I get it. So I just got my prop from Sensenik. I would like to appreciate uh, everyone uh, who helped me out for to get this prop uh, Andrew if you're watching this video really appreciate it this should uh, do me very well for my setup it is adjustable prop so I can play around with the pitch uh, I honestly couldn't be any more happier and I don't have to worry about my prop coming apart anymore so today what I'm doing is I'm removing a few things such as the lights because I'm going to be painting painting the front seat the cage and a few other things in the back but uh, I already pressure washed everything to get all the loose stuff off. I'm just waiting uh, for a couple hours for the stuff to dry. It's still early. The sun is still coming out. 
So I'm just waiting for it to dry and I'm gonna start prepping it. So as you can see, I have tape um, in certain areas. If you're wondering why I didn't tape off the deck, that is because after I, um, you know, paint where you sit in the cage, uh, I am going to be putting a bed liner on the top of the deck. So any overspray that goes on the deck uh, doesn't matter because I had to scuff up the surface in order to apply the bed liner. So you guys are going to see um, probably a good amount of um, paint on the deck. So don't worry about that. But um, I have a few things taped off and I have some primer. Going to be using Rust-Oleum. This is the primer that I bought. It's for if you have rusty metal. And I'm going to be using gloss black enamel. So here's the boat. As you can see, um, it's all fully primed. There's a bunch of overspray on the top deck, but like I said, I am putting bed liner spray right on top. So all this is going to disappear. Uh, kind of looks uh, not that great right now because of the overspray, but it, it, I promise it will look really good after I'm done. I'm letting it dry now and I'm going to be applying my black gloss paint uh, right on top of the cage and the seat. So over here I have the headers to the engine for the airboat. Um, I bought primer and this is the color that I'm going to be uh, using. So uh, hopefully uh, this goes pretty well. So here uh, the headers are fully primed. I'm going to use my uh, color. It's like a uh, light gray color. I wanted to use brown, but it was super hard to even find brown um, engine paint. So, I'm going with this color. We'll see uh, how it comes out. All right, so here are the headers. They are completely done. I have three coats on them. I'm just waiting for them to dry, but uh, they really shine when you put them in the sun. Uh, it looks like they have like a sparkle to them, actually. But uh, this uh, this should, should go pretty well with the airboat. I am painting the engine block that black. And a few other things I'm going to be painting the same uh, with this color. So it should uh, look pretty good on the boat. So as you guys can see, the boat is kind of a mess. But it is a work in progress. I need to put another coat on the seat and the cage. And I also have to um, prep the motor to get that painted. <clears throat> But I'm gonna release this video so you guys can see the progress because I know a lot of you guys, you know, want like weekly updates. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did so far. In my next video, you will guys uh, see me putting the bed liner on the top of the deck. And also I'm going to be painting the whole engine. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for more videos on this airboat. <music>